Hey guys, welcome back to Thrive Fitness in Ann Arbor. My name's Alexis. And I'm Amir. Today we're gonna to talk to you all about pullovers, how to do them correctly, the benefits of them, and what to avoid. Pullovers are an amazing exercise and a powerhouse movement for the upper body. Your lats are the prime mover and the primary muscle group you're training in this movement. You'll also feel this exercise in your triceps and your pectoralis minor, otherwise known as your upper chest, as the secondary muscle groups being trained in this movement. Lastly, your shoulders are the prime stabilizers in this movement as they shouldn't move. Make sure the shoulders don't round forward or shrug up towards your ears to prevent shoulder pain or an injury. First, we're gonna teach you the pullover perpendicular on the bench. So when you grab your weight, set it on your lap while the opposite hand grabs the bench. You're gonna hold on to the bench until you slide your hips off and you're able to lean back all the way into the bench and your head and shoulders rest on the bench comfortably while you grab both hands on the weight. This is your starting position. Here you want to keep your shoulders down and back. Make sure you don't shrug them up towards your ears. And make sure you don't round them up when you come up. That'll help you eliminate any sort of pain in your neck or back. Make sure your abs are squeezed so you're not arching your lower back. Your glutes and hamstrings are squeezed so you're creating a bridge, creating your own bench. Then. When your shoulders are down and back, heads resting comfortably on the bench, you're gonna lower the weight down slowly till you feel a stretch in both lats, all the way down your lats. Then when you do pause for one second, then pull it back up and forward until you can squeeze your lats and your hands are sitting directly over your chest. So stretch the lats, and then we pull up and forward and squeeze the lats. When you're done with your pullover, set the weight lightly down on your chest, grab the handle with one hand, and set it down to that side of your body nice and slow. Now we're going to show you all of our favorite pullover variations. And some of them will even involve your core, abs, glutes, and legs. Next, we're going to show you pullovers with two dumbbells. You can do these on the floor so you know when your hands should stop, or if you need some extra range of motion, you can also do them on a bench. The benefits of using two dumbbells, again, goes back to that unilateral concept so you don't overuse one side over the other. Keep your knees bent. Raise the dumbbells up in a neutral grip. The benefits of a neutral grip where your palms are facing each other are that you're gonna pull with your lats with some extra help from your triceps. Then we have the overhand grip which is definitely more difficult and requires a lot more shoulder mobility. So don't do these until you're completely ready for them and you have great shoulder mobility. And lastly, rotational movements are always great for stability. So feel free to mix up the angles and rotate in different angles. If you want to mix in a little bit of abs into your pullovers, you can do a pullover leg lift combo. Check it out. Lower your legs down, keep your abs squeezed to the ground so there's no arch in the back. Lift your legs up, lift the dumbbells forward, and big crunch at the top. Big crunch at the top. As always, 
Make sure your shoulders stay down and back. If you want to do the pullover leg lifts to work your abs more, but you experience lower back stiffness, set a BOSU ball underneath your feet so your legs don't go down as far to the ground, and that way you can ensure that your lower back doesn't arch while your abs stay engaged the whole time. And lastly, if you're unable to keep your legs straight throughout the entire movement due to tight hamstrings, try this last variation where you strain your legs on the way down and bend your knees at the top. Next, we're gonna show you stability ball pullovers for enhanced core stability, glute and hamstring stabilization. Again, set the dumbbell on your lap and slide down the ball slowly while you grab the weight with two hands. When your head and shoulders are comfortably resting on the ball and your glutes and hamstrings are squeezed and you're in a solid bridge position, you can start the movement. Again, you can do this movement with one or two dumbbells. If you don't have access to a gym, you're traveling, working out at home, or even in the gym, you can try banded pullovers. Check it out. Set your feet about shoulder width apart, hip distance, slightly bend your knees, hinge your hips back as far as you can until you feel a stretch in your hamstrings. Slight bend in the elbows as usual. And we're pulling the bands towards our thighs. Stretch your lats at the top. Squeeze your lats at the bottom. Keep a neutral spine. Keep your abs tight the whole time. Next, we're gonna show you two variations of the cable pullover. The first one is with a straight bar. Again, feet shoulder width apart. Slight bend in the knees, hinging the hips back, squeezing the abs. Shoulders down and back, head neutral. To start the movement, you want to slightly bend your elbows, not too much, as you stretch the lats and pull the bar down towards your thighs. And as you pull the bar down, squeeze your lats at the bottom and get a quick pause. The next variation of the cable pullover is gonna be done with a rope, which is gonna allow you to have just a little bit more range of motion by pulling your hands apart at the bottom and together at the top. To enhance the stretch in the cable pullovers, otherwise known as the lat sweep, you want to move your chest down a little bit as you raise your hands up. By ducking your chest down slightly and slightly raising your chest up at the top. That's going to allow you to enhance your lat stretch. Next, we're going to show you the barbell pullover. You can either use a straight bar or an easy bar for enhanced comfort on your wrists and elbows. But either one's great, try them both. Lastly, we're going to show you TRX pullovers. Keep in mind you can adjust the band length 
Make it shorter to make it easier. Make it longer so you can get a little closer to the ground and make it harder. Check it out. Notice during this movement, your hips should not move. Keep your abs and glutes squeezed in together the whole time for enhanced core stabilization and strength. Think about it like you're holding a plank the whole time. Thanks for watching our video on pullover. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, don't forget to subscribe for more awesome exercise instructional videos like this and more motivational videos every week. Feel free to comment below on any requests that you have for us as well. See you guys.